Yes, I think so. My boss says you won't move from there. Oh, you work for that unpleasant man? Yeah, he's... <coughs> Such a jerk. <laughs> it's not a good idea to get him at me. So, wouldn't you come in out there and not jump? Couldn't you just go back to work and forget about it? Please, it'll be impossible for days if you jump. <coughs> what was it? A girl? A girl? Oh, no. Aw, uh, you don't have to lie to me. Girls get themselves into trouble every day. It's not the end of the world. It was not a girl. Say, I don't believe we've met. I'm Ned Armstrong. Reginald, pleased to meet you. Glad to meet you. Nothing against you. I just don't want you pulling me in, that's all. That's all right. I'm sure I wouldn't want to force you to do anything you didn't want to. In fact, just between you and me, I'm hoping you will jump. Serve the old man right with a couple of good clients. No, don't let them get wet or blow away. Oh, I didn't know you were entertaining. Am I interrupting anything? I'm interrupting anything? Of course not, Miss Doyle. Uh, this is Mr. Armstrong. He works for that lawyer, Bigley. How do you do, Mr. Armstrong? How do you do, Miss Doyle? <laughs> He's just telling Phoebe to hear that I was rather hoping he'd jump. Oh, Mr. Armstrong, you really shouldn't encourage him. I'm sure Mr. Norton won't approve. Now, Miss Doyle. <laughs> Nothing you or anyone else can say can deter me from my purpose. I fully intend to jump in. Furthermore... Have you been working next door long, Mr. Armstrong? <laughs> I just came in this year, after I finished law school. Imagine, we've been working next to each other for so long, and I didn't even know your existence. You know, I've been here for three years, and when you spent that long doing the same... You know, I think I've ridden with you in the elevator once or twice. Yes. I knew I'd seen you from somewhere. <laughs> I've often thought of asking you after that. <laughs> why it happens. You know, I've been in the very same elevator. It could be that Oh, beat. Mr. Armstrong. Please, Miss Doyle, you really must call me Ned. <laughs> <laughs> you must call me Daphne. Some people call me Reggie. My mother always... Daphne. Such a lovely name. <laughs> Daphne, are you doing anything special on your coffee break? I am. I'm jumping from the 20th floor of this building on my coffee break. <laughs> Okay, buddy. I don't like this kind of talk. You get in here now, or I'll get you on resisting arrest. 
You'll come down to the station house. No, thank you, officer. I made up my mind and I'm going to jump. I'm just waiting for my coffee break. Now, if you'll excuse me. Come on, buddy. I'm bucking up for a desk job. I can't afford suicides and traffic tie-ups. Tell you what. Uh, when I get my desk job, I'll call you. You can come right back and jump. I won't bother you a bit. I can even get the new guy. No! Excuse me, officer. I wish we'd go to the museum. Just you sold to be in my hands. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to... Don't! Don't you think? Remember what our Lord said. Even the contemplation of the sin is a sin in itself. Suicide, my son, is the one, the only, the unforgivable sin. It is the sin of Jesus. Do you mind, Father? It's getting later and later, and I really must find a mistake here. Of course, my son. That is what I am here for. To have you find a mistake. The supreme error of your reigns. Do not think, because you have your life, it's within your power to take. Never think that, my son. So I say unto you... Yes, sir, I see all that. But if you'll forgive me, I must... Certainly, my son, but first you must confess. Confess your sins and your soul will be washed clean. Your soul will have a new life and the world will see you right again. But father... Yes, my son, there is something you wish to tell me. Some private sin which has driven you to the depths of despair. <laughs> 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 the bird of casting yourself down and losing your mortal soul. What is it, my son? Father, I'm not... Yes, yes, go on. I'm, I'm trying to. Don't get testy about it. What's <laughs> it? Father, I'm not a member of your parish. It is all right, my son. God's work is that there's no matter if you're right. All the sons of God work for the same thing. It's a time of heaven on earth and salvation of all the souls of mankind. Forget that I'm not your priest. Make a confession and absolve your sins. Say your rosary ten times and then come down to church with me. St. Fides Fides, we welcome you. Saint you? Fides Fides! She was a real saint. <laughs> Look, Father, I hate to disappoint you, but I don't say any rosary. Uh, a lost man, a tall little sheep that has turned away from the <laughs> Do you not know that there is more rejoicing in heaven than one lost sheep that's... Father, I'm not a Catholic. I'm an Episcopalian. Protestant. Did you say Protestant? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. you are sure you're not Jewish or Buddhist, Muslim even. <laughs> no, but if you'd like to stay around a while and chat... I'm sure if you told some of the name of your pastor, there'd be... Glad to call him, but under the circumstances, I'd better return to St. Fire's Fire's. Fire's people. <laughs> <laughs>